Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will be looking into how to initialize the project and install the different packages for the framework which we are working on. So let's get started. I am on my Visual Studio code. Okay, I have terminal open. So I will be first creating a directory where I need to write my code. So let's get started. I will type make directory mkdir space followed by the directory name. I will give API testing, Texas, Mocha, Chai, JavaScript. I'm just giving this name just for a easy understanding sake, else you can give any short name. Hit enter key. You can see that the directory is created. Let's ex open this directory, in the Visual Studio code directly. This is the directory we have created. Open it again. There you go. I will again open the terminal. Okay. So uh, the directory has been created. Now I want to create my package or JSON file with the default settings. So the, what is the command for that? The command we can type is it's npm space i n i t space y hyphen y. Hit enter key. So it will create a package or JSON file with all the default settings. Here you can see the new file is created named package or JSON file. When I open this file, you will see the name, version, description, main script keywords author is the default value which it has taken. Suppose I want to, uh, I don't want to create this with the default setting. So I should omit the parameter hyphen y. Let's try that as well. Let me delete this. Okay. And type npm space i n i t. Okay. I'm not using hyphen y parameter. Okay, let's hit enter. So now it's asking me the package name. Okay, I want to keep the default package name, which it is showing. It is asking me the version. Okay, I want to keep it default. It's asking me description. If I don't give, it will be blank. So let's say this is API automation. Automation. Entry point, let's keep it as default. Test command, let's keep it as default. We will be looking into this at later, later discussion. Let, let's keep a Git repository as blank as well. Keywords, you can give anything. API, com automation, you can give Exos, you can give Mocha, you can give Chai, you can give Java's, Red, Hit enter. You can give the author name, whatever author name you want to give. I will give code with the make key. Hit enter. The license I want to use, let's keep it as default. Hit enter key. Okay, it is showing you the, the complete JSON file which we are trying to create. It will be the name which I have given, the version, the default version, the description which I, I typed, this is API automation framework. Main we have kept as default, script we have kept as default. Keywords, uh, you would have seen that I have given comma separated values, it has uh, taken that. And author I have given as code with MMEK, license I'm taking as ISC, default. Is this okay? You need to type yes. Hit enter key. So if you if you open this package of JSON file, you will see that all the packages or or or, or the all the uh, values which we have mentioned, it is taking here. Now let's see how to install any of the package which is required for the uh, this product development. 
so we will be majorly using exhaust moja chai and some reporting packages we will install one by one and discuss about it so to install any of the package the uh, the, the command is npm install package name let's say mocha chai exhaust hyphen hyphen we want to save this okay so let's hit that hit enter so this is the way you can install all the packages in one go if not you can one by one type the uh, package name and install it okay if you see the three package name i gave was exhaust chai and mocha it has installed and it's showing in my package.json file suppose i want to add a few more uh, packages so let's do that as well npm install then i would give a reporting package name mocha awesome i will give a, a another package name which we will be using to clean the directory it's called rimref i will be also using uh, a faker apis which can give me a random data so let's give that package name as well faker hyphen js forward slash I will be also reading some of the files from the property files. So I will be using a property package as well. It's P R O P E R T P I E S hyphen R E D E. Okay. And then we want to save this to the package of this and then hyphen hyphen save. Will take few minutes to install. So if you see, it has installed the additional packages which I named Mocha Awesome, Property Reader, Rimref, Faker. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumb up.